I'm enjoying a rainy day, staying in the car to get things done, and uh, I thought I'd teach you a little bit about different bolt, uh, the different bolt measurements, and show you how I figure out what things are for when I need to replace them. Very few of you probably remember this, but I dropped one of these deep down inside there. I tried and tried, but sometimes it's easier to go buy one. So if you need to go buy one, what is it that you got to look at? Well, it really helps if you have one of these re-thread kits. I use this kit pretty unoften. Um, if you're doing automotive, unless you're working on classics all the time, definitely get the metric. I always have to use this screwdriver to set those aside. So I can get out the thread pitch tool. So kind of get this opened up. And I believe the one I need, since I've already done this, is actually on the other side. I'll pause a second while I get this opened up. Okay. So you got 0.5 thread depth, I don't see that much, or pitch. 7.75. Okay, the one I need is on this side. 0.9, 1. A lot of your common fasteners seem to be a 1. You know, when it's just general bodies. Parts that hold the body together like my dash over there. Okay. And what you have to do, yeah, use a bunch of it, just don't mark at the end. Because if you use just the end, it might look like it lines up and it doesn't really. And then when you use a bunch of them, if they all line up, then you know you got it right. So I know I needed a one. Getting back to these bolts. Typically speaking, when you get the right size, right pitch of thread, and the right thickness, you end up, it seems to me, always a millimeter or two bigger here. So this might have become an 11 millimeter. I, I noticed that they do that all the time on aftermarket bolts. Somewhere between a bother and a help. Because sometimes when you're actually going a little bit bigger on purpose, because say you, you stripped out a part of your aluminum cylinder head where your spark plug uh, or spark plug coil goes in, I had to go from M6 to an M7, kept the thread pitch the same, cut open with my handy kit um, a bigger size so that I could secure my my coil again. So at it, it, those points in time, you're very happy that this size is different because it helps you remember okay, every other I ended up having to do this on another one because I changed my spark plug so much that uh, every other one's an 11 and you know which holes are bigger because the head makes it really obvious on what you're doing. And I'm really grateful that they have these normal ones. The ones that are split, like it's a pressure lock kind of thing, uh, those drive me crazy. So that leaves one final piece for all these repairs left that I gotta fix from what I broke while I worked. <laughs> um, once I take care of that bolt on the exhaust, uh, exhaust shield, get rid of that rattle, my wife will no longer be afraid of the car. That's always good. <clears throat> as far as the new exhaust rattle, I had nothing to do with the work I've done. It just had to do with the, uh, I finally remembered. It wasn't the, the wife, it was me. I went plunk over a speed bump, even though I took it nice and slow. And I heard it hit my exhaust. I was like, Ugh, I'm driving, driving through this par the parking lot again. But... So I got to get rid of that problem. I required a reweld at least. Possibly have to cut everything up and refashion everything all over again. I wish that they had thicker aftermarket adapter sizes. Uh, maybe they do. Uh, AutoZone seems like it's a little sturdier, but it doesn't fit flush. O'Reilly pieces fit perfectly with the exhaust pieces I already have. They're technically the same size, but they fit right. So I may have to rehack that up and get that going right.
Now that's done, remember, get out there and work on something.